Hello everybody, happy Christmas. I hope you're having a great time. I wanted to actually give you a Christmas present and I hope you enjoy it. I was out and about in the summer filming and I captured all these images, these spare clips of birds and animals and stuff like that. So what I did, I put some of them together into this film about uh, Cornelius the Swan. And of course it's based on the story in Acts chapter 10 of when the the Holy Spirit first falls on Gentile believers. You can use it to teach your kids about the Holy Spirit if you want, or you just have a good laugh. Anyway, here it is, the film about Cornelius the Swan. I hope you enjoy it. Merry Christmas. Now then, are you sitting comfortably? Good. Then we'll begin. This is the river where Cornelius and Constance live. And one day they were out swimming. What are you doing with your head in the water? asked Constance. I'm looking for me bucket and spade, said Cornelius. Why are you doing that? said Constance. Are you going to the seaside or something? Yeah, because I had a dream, said Cornelius. What was a dream about? said Constance. In the dream a shiny swan told us, if I went to this place where Simon the Seagull lives beside the seaside, then I would meet a fisherman called Peter the Heron, and he would tell us everything I need to know about how to be able to fly, said Cornelius. And the shiny swan said I had to watch out for the train as well, like. That's ridiculous. Swans can't fly or go on trains, said Constance. You'll have to get a bus or a taxi man. So Cornelius got the bus to the seaside, but he had to walk part of the way to look for Peter the Heron and Simon the Seagull. He started asking the other birds, do you know where Simon the Seagull is or Peter the Heron? But when nobody knew where they were, Cornelius ordered a taxi to go home. I'm behind you man, said Peter. No man, not there man, that's Kevin the Cormorant, over here man. Hey, hello, Peter, said Cornelius. You know what? I had a dream with a shiny swan in it who told us to come here and you'd tell us how to fly. But my wife Constance says swans can't fly. Well, you need to get into the river of life, said Peter. Then you'll see this sparkly light in the water. When you see it, go towards the sparkly light. Then all of a sudden, you'll understand and be able to fly. But don't forget to watch out for the train, mind. It's not very deep here, though. You'll need to get in deeper. And you have to do it yourself, mind. Nobody else can do it for you. The way you walk <laughs> makes us laugh. You walk like a big duck. You can talk. Did you borrow them legs off a sparrow? You're like, git scrawny, said Cornelius. And what's it with this train people keep saying about? Cornelius swam to a deeper part of the river of life and he started to feel different. Taxi for Cornelius Swan! shouted the taxi driver. Um, no, said Cornelius. I'll be flying home. Are you sure you don't want a taxi? No, man, said Cornelius, shaking his head. Well, watch out for the train. Cornelius swam on a bit, but he couldn't see the sparkly water, so he turned around and went a different way. Then he saw it. He saw the sparkly light in the water. He was git scared, but suddenly he understood something he'd never understood before, and he felt something he never felt before, so he began to swim towards the sparkly light. I feel geek funny, said Cornelius out loud, but I like this sparkly light in the water. Maybe I can fly after all. Then it went a bit shaky and dark, but sparkly and light at the same time. Oh man, this is intense, said Cornelius to himself. It's like shaky and dark and sparkly and light all at the same time. Wait a minute, this is a bit weird. Is this what me wings are for? 
Man, that was quick. Right, I'm off. Way I man, I'm flying. Calling and shouting. How are the lads? Who put that train there? Yelled Cornelius. I'm going to hit it if I don't stop and I don't even know how to turn yet. Suddenly, Peter and some other birds came to the rescue. Use your tail, fellas, and wingtips to turn and come with us, yelled Peter. Cornelius turned and he flew as fast as he could, but he was slower than other birds because he was just learning. Wait for me, man, shouted Cornelius. Eventually, he managed to fly home and he told Constance. Then the same thing happened to her and they both became very shiny. I just told that duck about the sparkly light, said Constance. But he said, that's ridiculous. There's no such thing as a sparkly light because ducks cannot fly. Corny is and Constance laughed. Then they got married and they had loads of other baby swans and they went and told everybody the good news about the shiny sparkly light that helped all the birds to fly. <laughs>